Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matt and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hide pages from your visitors but let clients show your website even without a login. Let's dive in right now. For example, this website I'm building right now for a client in the luxury estates. I don't want visitors to see this website and I don't want to have my clients to log in to the website. I usually use this approach. I install a plugin called Restricted Site Access. It's a very small plugin and when you go to your settings in here, you just go to your reading settings of WordPress itself. There it's fully integrated and here you can go to site visibility. Then you can choose Restrict Site Access to visitors who are logged in or by IP address. So this is a great way. You can handle restricted visitors to send them to the WordPress login screen, redirect them to a specific web address, show them a simple message or show them a page, in our case, the coming soon page. You're also able to unrestrict IP address to your own IP address or from your client so that they can still view your website. But I can imagine if you need to ask them for IP address, then they log in from their phone, they say, I can see the website. And they're showing it to their colleague on another computer, on another place. It has some problems with that. It works excellent, but when clients would need to see it, it gets a little bit tricky. There's another way. You can also just go to settings, go to reading over there, and then your static page should be the home page coming soon. That's also a way to handle this. And then you can of course just hide your footer and your header so people cannot navigate through your website, but also not your clients. And then you can just send your clients the direct URLs and then they can visit your entire website. However, when Google starts indexing your website, you can also get some visitors on your website. And that's something you don't want to have. Well, you can say, you can just say robot no index it. Yes, you can, but I have seen multiple times where it's just getting indexed, although you said no index. So I don't completely trust it. So but you can also do this. You go to your pages, go to quick edit and you make them private. Update it like this. Also the about, go to quick edit, press on private, update it. When I try to visit my website, then I then get a 404. Now you still can see the footer and the header and this not exactly the way I want it to. So let me show you another way. Go to add new plugin. And we're gonna search for the plugin called shareable password. Just press on enter. And we have a very new plugin from Fabian and it only has 20 active installations. Hmm. Install now. And then we press activate. And then we go to our homepage. We press on edit over there. And then we can see a new button over here. Share this post via secret URL. Wow, press copy. And we press update this post, of course. And when I send this URL to my clients, they're able to see these pages without needing to log in and without the use of a password. Now that can be very handy in some cases. And if you don't want them to access your website again, just Uncheck this box, save your page and they cannot log in anymore because when I now share post again, as you can see, I now have a different secret key over there. So that just works excellent. If you have any questions or you just want to say thank you, Matt, drop them down in the comments. I'll always reply. Hit that like button if it was useful for you and subscribe over there because I have a lot more viewers than subscribers. And after that, check out this video, which has nothing to do with passwords and redirecting and posts and hidden pages, I think.